Hello and welcome to Mrs. Law's class. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to estimate values from a graph. Now often, given a graph, or if you draw your own, it is common to use the graph to estimate other values that were not in the table. So estimating a value inside a graph or within your points is called interpolation. And then estimating a value outside of the graph or outside your table of value or your points is called extrapolation. So let's take a look at an example. So the number of eligible voters who voted in BC compared to the number of people eligible to vote was 55% in 2013 and then 58% in 2017. So let's identify the independent and dependent variables, and we're going to write a let statement to define these variables. All right, we can see that the percent is kind of dependent on the year. So we're going to write let y equal the year. So this is our independent variable. And then we'll say p for the percent. of people who voted. All right, so in the second part, oh, and this is dependent, so let's write that down as well. Okay, in part B, uh, plot the point on the graph using the years from 2010 to 2035. All right, so I think if I plan this correctly, I can probably start 2010 over here. And then we can probably skip count to get to 2035. So we'll skip count by five. So this will be 2015, 2020, 2025, 2030, and 2035. So this is our year. So we're going to label it like that. And then our percents, we're going to increase by 1. So we get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And we really only need to go to 70. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll go all the way to 100. 80, 90, and then 100. So on the side, this is the percent. of people who vote. So that's a percent. All right, so then that could be our title as well. Oops. So percent of voters or percent of people who vote. All right, so we only have two points. We're going to plot those two. So in 2013, so that's about, so it's 11, 12, 13. So in 2013, there are 55%. So that's about there, right in the middle. And in 2017, so 15, 16, 17, there are 58%. So it's a little bit higher. So I'm going to plot my point there. All right, so I'm going to grab my ruler and we're going to connect these two points. Okay. And then draw your line through the two points. And make sure you go throughout the entire grid, okay, that's given to you. All right, so let's go and answer the next question. So if this trend continues, what percent of eligible voters will vote in 2024? All right, so I'm going to use a different color here so we can see. So in 2024, that's approximately right here. Oh, sorry, I meant to use purple. Okay, so I'm going to use my ruler to line this up. Okay, so I'm going to line this up all the way to my line. Okay, so it goes to there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to match that up to see what percentage by going across. So notice my ruler 
is at zero degrees. Okay, and before it was at 90 because we wanted to go straight up. Okay, so we're going to estimate this. So this is this value here. And according to my um, grid here, it looks like it's about a little bit more than maybe 65%. So I'm going to say 60 six percent now it might be a little bit different on yours depending on your line um but probably what is acceptable is probably anywhere from maybe 63 to maybe 66 percent all right so next if this trend continues in what year will there be more than 70 percent of the eligible voters voting all right so this time we're going backwards so we want 70 percent and then we want to find the year so let's take my ruler out again and we're going to line it up at 70 percent which is right here okay i'm going to actually move it down a little bit since my pen is thick so we're going to go all the way to here and it touches the graph right there okay so this is my point whereas my point for the other one was right here okay and we're going to move my ruler now and you can see that it's at 90 degrees so i'm going to move it right where the point is and then draw my line down actually you know what i think it's probably a little bit moved over so i'm going to move it over a little bit to here okay that's better so i'm going to move it over to here and we're going to read off the year and that is around 2029 or you can even say maybe it's 2028 okay so there's a little bit of a give and take uh, depending again on how you draw your line uh, but try to be very accurate uh, when you plot the first two points because all the other values uh, depend on how you draw the line based on the first two points all right next we're going to find the slope and the y-intercept of the graph if 2013 is the starting year okay so to make it easy i made 2013 uh, to be our starting year which means that that actually will be our y-intercept so we're going to find our slope okay so our slope remember is based on this little triangle right here okay so we're going to take the difference in the percentages which is our rise and then the difference in our year which is our run so here we're going to go 58 so our slope sorry, is going to be 58 minus 55 percent divided by and the year that matches with 58 as you can see over here let's go back is 2017 and then the year that matches with 55 percent is 2000 and 13. So we need to start with 2017 and then minus 2013. Okay, so my slope is going to then be 3 over 4. And then I already said that the y intercept is because we're starting at the year 2013, the y intercept will be 2013. So the last question here is write an equation that relates the percent of people who voted uh, to the year. So the percent of people who voted, which is P, that's what we called it before, is equal to three quarters. And we called it, so it's three quarters of Y, because that was our year and that's what we called it. And then plus 2000. And 13. So this is the equation that relates the percent of people who voted to the year. Okay, so this is how we can interpret our graph um, by finding numbers that are outside. So notice that when we found the number or this point over here, this purple point, and also the green point, it was outside of the points that were given. So this is called extrapolation. Now, if I ask you to find a point such as between 55 and 58 percent, such as 57 percent or 56, that would be called interpolation because it's in between the two percentages that I've given. Okay, and then that's it.